Mr. M. Gomez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about division of fractions. In dividing fractions, we have three steps. The first one, just copy the first fraction. Second one, you have to change the operation into multiplication. And the third one is to flip or get the reciprocal of the second fraction. So let's start dividing the following fractions. For item number 1, we have 2 over 5 divided by 3 over 4. So again, the first step is to rewrite the first fraction, which is 2 over 5. Then, change the operation of division into multiplication. So we have times. And then, get the reciprocal of 3 fourths or the second fraction. So we have... 4 over 3. So now, let's perform multiplication. 2 over 5 times 4 over 3. So first step in multiplying fraction again, analyze if the numerators can simplify the denominators. So 2, we cannot simplify 5 and 3. So how about 4? So we cannot simplify also to 5 and 3. Therefore, just multiply the numerators, 2 times 4, that is equal to 8, and 5 times 3, that is equal to 15. So therefore, this is our final answer, 8 over 15. For item number 2, 4 over 7 divided by 1 half. So again, first step is, to rewrite the first fraction, which is 4 over 7. Then, change the operation into multiplication. So, times. Then, get the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is 1 half. It will become 2 over 1, or 2. So, next, analyze the numerators and the denominators if we can simplify some numbers. So since 4 cannot simplify to 7 and 1, and 2 cannot simplify to 7 and 1, therefore, just multiply the numerators. 4 times 2, that is 8. 7 times 1, that is 7. And, as you can see, 8 is higher than 7. So this is improper fraction. So you, you need to uh, rewrite it in mixed number. So again, how to rewrite this improper fraction into mixed number. Just divide 8 and 7. So 8 divided by 7, we can get 1, 1 7 from 8, then 8 minus 7, we have 1, then copy the denominator of 7. Therefore, this is our final answer, 1 and 1 over 7. Let us have item number 3. This is 5 over 8 divided by 9 over 10. So again, we have three steps in dividing fractions. The first one is to keep or rewrite the first fraction, which is 5 over 8. So let's rewrite 5 over 8. And next step is to change the operation into multiplication. So division will become multiplication. So divide will become times. And then Next step is to get the reciprocal or flip the second fraction. When we say reciprocal, we it is the process of reversing the numerator and denominator. So 9 will become denominator and 10 will become numerator. So that is 10 over 9. And then next, we have to multiply 5 over 8 and 10 over 9. So now, in multiplying fraction again, we have to analyze if numerators can simplify to denominators. So we have 10 and 8. We can simplify 10 and 8 since 8 and 10 are divisible by 2. So let's divide it by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now, we cannot simplify the remaining numbers. Since 5 cannot simplify to 4 and 9, 5 cannot simplify to 4 and 9 also. That's, that's why 
we need to multiply the numerators and denominators. So, 5 times 5, that is equal to 25. And 4 times 9, that is equal to 36. Therefore, our final answer is 25 over 36. Okay, let's proceed to item number 4. Or example number 4. 3 over 7 divided by 6 over 14. So again, the first step is to keep or rewrite the first fraction. So that is 3 over 7. And then the second step is to change the operation into multiplication. So divide will become times. And next step is to flip or uh, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Again, reciprocal, it is the process of reversing the numerator and denominator. So 6 will become denominator and 14 will become numerator. So 14 over 6. Okay, now, since the operation is multiplication now, let's analyze if the numerators can simplify to denominators. So we have 3 and 6. We can simplify 3 since 3 and 6 are divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And next, 14 and 7. So 7 and 14 are divisible by 7. So let's divide 7 by 7, that is 1. And 14 by 7 is 2. Do we have another number can, that we can simplify? Yes, we have. This is 2 and 2. Therefore, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, our final answer is 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1. So, our final answer is 1. For you to have mastery in dividing fraction, let us have additional two examples. Example number 5 and example number 6. So, for example number 5, 8 over 9 divided by 16 over 27. So, again, we have three steps. The first one, keep or rewrite the first fraction. So, 8 over 9. So, let's keep 8 over 9. And then, next step is to change the operation into multiplication. So, divide will become times. And the next step is to flip or get the reciprocal of 16 over 27. So when you say reciprocal again, it is the process of reversing the numerator and denominator. So 16 will become denominator and 27 will become numerator. So 27 over 16. The next, let's multiply these two fractions. So first, analyze if we can simplify the numbers for you to multiply the fractions easily. So, 8 and 16, as you can see, we can simplify these two numbers since 8 and 16 are divisible by 8. So, let's divide 8 by 8, that is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Another one, 9 and 27, we can simplify these two numbers since 9 and 27 are divisible by 9. Therefore, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So, 1, 3, 1, and 2. These numbers cannot simplify since it is already sim in simplest form. So, let's multiply numerator and numerator. 1 times 3, that is 3. 1 times 2, that is equal to 2. So, now observe... Your answer is in improper fraction, meaning the numerator is higher than denominator. So we can rewrite it into mixed number. So again, how to rewrite it in mixed number? Just divide the numerator and denominator. 3 divided by 2, so we have 1, 1, 2 in 3. So 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1. Then rewrite the denominator. Therefore, our final answer is... 1 and 1 half. Okay, next, for item number 6, we have 12 over 25 divided by 
3 over 10. So again, 3 steps. The first one, keep or rewrite the first fraction. So we need to keep 12 over 25. So second step is to change the operation into multiplication. So now, division will become multiplication or divide will become times. The next third step is to flip or get the reciprocal of 3 over 10. Reciprocal, 3 will become denominator and 10 will become numerator. So that is 10 over 3. Okay, now let's multiply these two numbers or two fractions. So first, analyze if we can simplify numbers from numerator and denominator. So 12 and 3 can simplify since 3 and 12 are divisible by 3. So let's divide 12 by 3, this is 4. 3 divided by 3, this is 1. Another one, we can simplify 10 and 25 since 10 and 25 are divisible by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So now, we don't have any other numbers or factors that can simplify. Therefore, just multiply the, the numerator, which is 4 times 2, that is 8. 4 times 2, and then 5 times 1, that is equal to 5. Again, 8 is higher than 5, so this is improper fraction. So rewrite it or uh, rewrite it in mixed number. So how to rewrite in mixed number? Divide 8 by 5. So 8 divided by 5, we have we have 1. And the next, 8 minus 5, we have 3. Then copy the denominator. So we have our final answer is 1 and 3 over 5. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned my video. Thank you for watching. And if you learn, please subscribe in my channel and click the notification bell na all for you to be updated in my latest video.